All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. I'm Erica Hughes, and if you haven't subscribed and you turn out to like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so plan today is I have a video on YouTube that um, was one of my most popular videos, and I have so many subscribers um, say, and other artists say, they found me because of that video and that Dutch pour that I did. So I thought it would be fun to recreate that Dutch pour. In that specific Dutch pour, I used all Arteza acrylic paints. So I wanted to, since I kind of, that was over, over two years ago, I've st since I've started using pigments, different brand acrylic paints, um, some fluid acrylics. So I wanted to kind of like mix up my own colors in, those same shades that I used in that video for that specific Dutch pour. The first color I use in that video is Arteza Pearl Copper Gold. Now that is a gorgeous color and packs a serious punch. However, I'm sticking with my, I'm gonna mix it up, like my own shade up. So this is what I came up with and I'll tell you how I made that. So this is my wannabe Pearl Copper Gold. <laughs> Okay, and this is Ore by This Little Piggy Pigment mixed with Amsterdam's Copper. So I wet my pigment and then I added some Amsterdam Copper. Then I added my Floetrol in Water to Thin. So this is what I'm going to use in place of the Pearl Copper Gold. Next, um, in the video I used Pearl Deep Brown. So for that... I mixed up some Cappuccino by This Little Piggy Pigment and some Van Dyke Brown by Amsterdam. And this is what I got. This really like deep brown. Okay, so we're gonna use that. And then I used a gold in, an Arteza Gold in um, that video. So I mixed up some Ore Pigment by This Little Piggy to get gold. Now my base, I already have the base paint laid down. I mixed up Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And I really want a really deep, deep, deep black. And I really miss my Matisse Carbon Black, so I'm gonna have to get more. So what I did to that black is I added a few squirts of the Carbon Black Fluid Acrylic by Golden into that Oxide Black. And then I added the flow draw in the water and all that. Mixing video will be linked in the description box underneath this video if you want to see how I mix up my paints and what I use. This is all USA Floetrol and uh, a gel gloss for my pigments. But you guys can check out that video in the description box if you want. So I have a 12 by 12 deep edge canvas and I've already laid my base. So we're just going to jump straight into it. Okay, so I have a little note over there saying the order that I laid those colors down um, in that video. So we started with Pearl Copper Gold. So we're going to do my self-mixed Pearl Copper Gold. That's a little bit thick still, so I'm just going to add a little bit more water really quick. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay. Am I? Yes. Okay, so in the video, I just did a puddle. And then we went with the Deep Brown by Arteza. So I'm going to get my self-mixed Deep Brown. I'm going to pour that into that. And then we did white. So this is Titanium White by Amsterdam. Whoops. Don't know if I did that. Okay, now we're going to do gold. Okay. It's going to be a lot of paint. And pearl copper gold swirl. I even got my swirls in there. And 
and then we did a brown swirl. And then we did a gold swirl. And a white swirl. And then we're going to call it. Okay, so we can put that there. And then we're going to pour some black base around. Lots. Okay. And then I'm going to take my Baby Bliss Travel Hair Dryer 1200 Watt. Blow that base over and then blow out. Okay, now in the video, I literally had to like force myself not to touch anything. There is a lot of paints on here, so. I do remember in that video when I looked back on it, there was a lot of paint on that as well. So that's looking really pretty. Um, unfortunately, I think there might, mm, there might be too much paint on here, so I'm going to have to blow this out. I don't want to, but I'm going to. We might get away with that. So let's just let it do its thing. And some gorgeous cells. Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely not going to... See, I say that, and then I want to blow this out just a little. And I am hoping that this dries. So there is a lot of paint. So you guys are just going to have to wait and see. I'll have to update you on... Probably the next video because I don't think I'm going to have another video out for a few days. So it should be dry and finished. Um, and hopefully, I have left a lot of paint like this on a canvas before and have not, not had any problems with it drying. That being said, you know, you never know. But it is gorgeous and it does remind me of that pour. So... I'm happy. So yeah, I'll give it five minutes and I'll bring you guys down for, for a close-up and see what happens. Okay, so here we have it, guys. Happy with it. Now I'm going to do a Chaos-style Dutch pour using the same colors, same base, and all that. All right, let me know what you guys think. So here we go. So let's do it. So pearl cup of gold. So I'm going to do this Chaos-style Dutch pour that I've been doing. We're going to make do with the amount of paint we have. We're not going to waste any. Okay, so then let's go for that chocolate or the deep brown that I mixed up. And some white. Ooh. Okay, and then we're going to go for some gold. This is going to be pretty. Okay. And look at that, we've used all of our paint up. Okay. And do, do, do. let's get some black in there and around the edges. empty. I'm going to blow really quick and blend these around a little bit and then we're going to fill in. Fill in with 
with some black. Now, I'm hoping I have enough black paint. I'm going to save some so I can touch up if needed. some more. See what I will do is pick up the black drips like the little puddles that are just um, with black in it to touch up my areas where there's only black so we're gonna be fine. Okay, so I'm going to blow a little bit out. This looks cool as is, but let me get this glove off because that's going to wreck my head. Wow. And it's growing and doing stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to blow out some petals. I wasn't happy with that little section so liking it so far love it yes okay I'm not gonna touch it just gonna fix my edges and let it do its thing because it's developing and definitely scrape the drips so it doesn't so we can make it chill out faster okay and I should have just enough black left. So this is great because we've managed to use up all my paint for these two. Well, what I mixed up. So that's nice. I won't have, um, you know, I'd use it anyway. But just sometimes it's nice just to have your empty cups. Clean them out. Pack them away. Okay, guys. So here we go. This has definitely grown. This is about... 20 minutes later, 25 minutes later. That's what happens when you use lots of metallics. It moves and grows a lot, but check that out. That's insane. So this is the type of piece where I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope it dries nice. And I would definitely keep you guys posted. But yes, it's a stunning piece and I'm happy with it. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. There's some serious boulders in there. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!